Changing Lanes, the official podcast of BMW. Hello and welcome to this episode of Changing Lanes, the official podcast of BMW. I'm Sarah. I'm a city girl who loves road trips to the country. I love carpool karaoke and driving with the top down. And my name is Jonathan. I'm a tech geek, a fun fact fan, and I'm a speed freak with cars and, of course, the internet. Hey, Jonathan. You know what I love? What do you love? Acronyms. You know, (laughs) words that are abbreviated into a shorter word using only the first letter of each word. So, for example, TLC stands for Tender Loving Care or... ASAP stands for as soon as possible. Or TTYL, which means talk to you later. Exactly. And you know, acronyms save time, they're fun to use, they make you sound cool. Well, if you love acronyms, Sarah, then today's podcast is going to make your heart swoon. Today we're talking about the origin of the name BMW. I know, Jonathan. I'm so excited. We're going to dive into what BMW stands for. And actually, most people don't know, so this is going to be super informative. When the BMW name was founded, which is a story in itself. Most definitely. And we will finally unravel the mystery of why some people call a BMW a Bimmer or a Beamer. Now, you know, Sarah, when I was a kid growing up, people would say Beamer this and Bimmer that. And that was also around the time before smartphones, when people had beepers. Okay, So my entire childhood, I can't believe I'm saying this, is I thought beamers and bimmers and beepers were all the same thing. Like, (laughs) like how cool is technology that they made a car that reminds you to call somebody back? Hmm, (laughs) I don't know about that. Well, you know, I'm glad then that we have this podcast episode to give you the right information about the BMW name and also just how the nickname Beamer or Bimmer came about. Exactly. You and me both. So, as we all know, the BMW brand is all about joy. But what is the acronym actually short for? Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, the mystery is finally over. BMW stands for, get ready everyone, Bayerische Motorenwerke. Uh, maybe (laughs) say it again for the non-German speaking crowd? Okay, no problem. Here we go. (laughs) Bayerische Motorenwerke, which roughly translates to Bavarian Motor Works. Super cool. So Bayerische Motorenwerke, which is, thank you, which is German because BMW is from Germany, is from the state of Bavaria in southern Germany, actually. So that explains the B, so Bavarian, it comes from Bavaria, the M in BMW, Motoren in German, which translates to motor or motors in English, is uh, pretty self-explanatory. Then the W in BMW, Werke in German, that translates to works or factory in English. So putting it all together and you've got Bavarian Motor Works or Bavarian Motor Factory. Pretty cool, huh? Yeah, and when in Germany, do make sure that you pronounce the acronym correctly. So in English-speaking countries, we say BMW, but in German-speaking countries, the first two letters are the same, but the last letter is different. So this is how you pronounce it in German. Ready? BMW. BMW. There you go. Who knew this podcast could be a great way to learn German, too? Totally. <laughs> yeah. So now we know what BMW or BMV stands for. So let's find out now the root of the name. So how did the name BMW come about? Okay. This is where the fun factoid freak comes out in me. This is a bit of history right here. Let's roll up our sleeves. So the company's roots lie in the factory Rapp Motorwerke, or Rapp Motorwerke. Now, Rapp Motorwerke has its headquarters in the Bavarian capital of Munich. Remember Bavaria before the B of BMW, right? So Rapp Motorwerke began producing aircraft engines in 1913. You heard right, aircraft engines. So during the First World War, Rapp also supplied the German Air Force with engines. Four years later, in 1917, the company was renamed to Bayerische Motorenwerke, 
And what's really cool is that BMW's origin in the Rapp company can also be seen on the logo. All right. And now things get a little complicated, so just bear with me. So in 1920, the company was incorporated into a Berlin-based brakes company called Knorr Bremse. And for a brief moment, there was no BMW. But then in 1922, the major investor and aircraft construction pioneer Camillo Castiglioni was the main shareholder of Knorr Bremse, and he bought the BMW company name and took over engine construction operations, along with the employees, production facilities, and company logo, and then transferred everything to BFW, Bayerische Flugzeugwerke. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. BFW? What does the F stand for? The F in BFW, Flugzeug, means airplane. Today is full of German lessons. Yes, totally. But, Jonathan, the name did not stick. All right. So shortly thereafter, BFW was turned back into BMW. And that's how the BMW name found its way into the commercial register for a second time. So let me ask you now. What is the founding year of BMW? Oof. Okay, this is a tricky question, so let me think. Uh, I'd say 1913, when the founding of Rapp Motorwerke happened, right? Mm, nope. Okay. Uh, what about 1917, when Rapp was renamed into BMW? Nope, that's not right either. Oh, geez. Um, what about 1922? When Bayerische Flugzeugwerke, BFW, was renamed to BMW. It has to be that. Mm, sorry, wrong again. Oh my goodness. All right, I give up. No clue. Well, the official founding year of BMW is 1916. March 7th, 1916 to be exact. Wait, what? All right, let me explain. So BMW is the legal successor of BFW. And BFW was founded on March 7th, 1916. The aircraft manufacturer BFW bequeathed BMW their founding date. So BFW's founding date of March 7th, 1916 is therefore considered to be BMW's official birthday. Well, that's very nice of them. <laughs> yeah, so the official answer to the question what year was BMW founded is 1916. Even though the name first appeared in 1913, it just took us a little bit of a detour to get there. <laughs> cool. So, so far, we've learned what the acronym BMW stands for and the history of how BMW was founded. <laughs> <laughs> now it's time to debunk the mystery of how the nicknames Bimmer and Beamer came to be. Oh, yeah. And I can tell you're really excited about this, Jonathan. And to tell you the <laughs> truth, I would like to know, too. Ooh, I am bursting at the seams. Okay, here we go. So the nickname Beamer, B-E-A-M-E-R, comes from Great Britain and originally served to distinguish it from another British manufacturer whose motorcycles bore the nickname Beezer, B-E-E-Z-E-R. But BMW motorcycles also achieved great success on the British racing scene, including the Isle of Man TT races. So, for example, George Shoshmaya was the first non-British racer to win the prestigious Senior TT with the BMW 255 compressor in 1939. Mm, facts. So, <laughs> he was followed in the post-war years by a long list of winners um, that were on the BMW teams. So, over the years, riders and motorsports fans coined the nickname Beamer for BMW motorbikes by analogy to Beezer. Beamer is a lot snappier and generally easier to say than BMW, especially as it cuts out the difficult long W sound at the end. So the name Beamer quickly gained popularity in English-speaking countries as a nickname for BMW motorbikes. And over time, the alternative spelling B-E-A-M-E-R, Beamer, emerged. Its resemblance to the word beam is believed to be coincidental. All right, so now you explain this nickname Beamer, um, but what about uh, Bimmer, which is the other nickname that BMW has? Exactly. So this is where things get super interesting. The nickname Bimmer 
originated in the 1970s. Now, at that time, BMW automobiles were enjoying something of a boom in popularity in the U.S. Americans had initially called BMW cars Beamers, like the motorcycles, with the exception of the Boston chapter BMW Club, whose newsletter has been called Bimmer since the 1970s. <laughs> so with that in your brain, in the meantime, and entirely independent of the Boston chapter, an identically titled magazine for BMW fans hit the shelves in the U.S., and Bimmer won out as the preferred nickname for BMW cars, as opposed to Beamer for motorcycles. The name now has been embraced by car fans around the world. Amazing. Really, really fascinating. Right? All right. But get this fun fact of trivia. In the 1990s, Bimmer was joined by another nickname for BMW automobiles in China, Bauma. Bauma? What, yeah. is, what does that mean? So translated, Bauma literally means... Precious horse. Okay, precious horse. That is really interesting. I, I've actually read that in Chinese culture, horses are regarded as sacred creatures of high value, and they actually signify a competitive advantage over rivals. So, yeah, that does fit perfectly with the BMW brand. Amazing. Amazing. I guess you learn something new every day. But, <laughs> Jonathan, what about in Germany? Did they also create... A nickname like Beamer or Bimmer or Bauma? Nope. Urgh, sorry to disappoint. You know, I guess they never created a separate nickname in Germany. I don't know, maybe because, as we learned in the beginning of this podcast, the German pronunciation of BMW, 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 it just rolls nicely off of the tongue. BMW, so if it ain't broke, don't fix it. True that, Jonathan, true that. So... Everyone, there you have it. Now you're all set when it comes to knowing about the origins of the BMW name, when the brand was founded, and also its nicknames, Bimmer and Beamer. And don't forget Bauma in Chinese. <laughs> <laughs> so thanks for listening, everybody, to this week's episode of Changing Lanes. And if you enjoyed this episode, make sure you subscribe to the podcast for all of our future episodes. Plus, if you want to dive deeper into all things BMW, head on over to BMW.com to learn more. I'm Jonathan. And I'm Sarah. And this has been Changing Lanes. See you next time, everyone. <laughs> <laughs>